Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad and Queen Jolene's on the camera and we are on air. Today we're going to talk about and update you on the Bugatti. The Bugatti is actually mine and Jolene's probably, it is our biggest build um, without a doubt. Um, it's getting close to becoming something uh, to a finished product. Um, if you have not noticed, me and Jolene have been working really hard on the YouTube station to bring you content every day. And uh, what, what, is, what happens is when you try to do that, some of the builds that you're doing uh, go to the back burner. And one of them is the Bugatti, which is probably our biggest um, known car that we've been doing. Um, this, this car is for Jolene. And the reason I'm building this car is because I thought she was so... I, I still do to this day thinks she's the most beautiful girl in the world. And what happens is, is I'm building her a car to show my appreciation and my love to her. And um, we are getting closer to getting this thing on the road, but we want to update you on this a little bit. I guess I went back a little bit further than probably a lot of you already know the situation, but we're, we're, we are getting closer on this car all the time. And we just want to update you on what's going on. Uh, we have the doors here. I got the doors right here. They're basically finished. Basically, they have the primer on them. They're, they're ready to probably to be blocked out, sanded, and painted. Uh, you've watched the latest video on... No, you have not watched the latest video on the motor and stuff like that. Um, but whatever, I'm not sure. But today, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you some of the interior. We're gonna take the wood off the mold itself and see if the wood fits with the interior. We have not done that yet, so will it fit? Uh, we have the seats to show you. Um, Floyd Hiltz is the one that's been doing the seats. He's been doing a fantastic job. He did the interior also. Um, we let out, or Jolene let out the bag a long time ago, way back, what the color is. It's a cream white of the car. Um, and we are getting closer to trying to finish it. Uh, we have the interior, it's right here. This is the door skin that we have, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna just do a little update on it and we're gonna do a little bit of fit and fitment to see if everything works or not. And the reason being is because you cannot put a car together, uh, well you can, <laughs> I keep saying cannot. I, I don't like using that word cannot or can't or whatever that stuff, but we are building a car uh, from scratch because um, it did not, it did not, it was not here. Uh, there was no Bugatti in Nova Scotia that I, I acquired cheaply and fixed and restored. Uh, we made the car basically from nothing, be, bits and pieces of metal and fenders and made, you know, just make the whole thing. Uh, but this is the interior. Floyd Hilt's done the interior. He done a fantastic job. It looks really nice. This is a ostrich. This is Jolene's ostrich color that she picked for the off-white Bugatti. Um, this is the door skin for the driver's door. I'm going to set it on here for the very first time. I'm going to get some glasses on. I'm going to set it on for the very first time. And what's going to happen is I'm just going to check this bad boy over because it really does matter. does matter if the skin is bigger than the door because it, you know, if the skin's bigger than the door, sometimes it'll scrape. We do have a little bit of room in between. We do have door gap. Yes, we do. We have door gap. But we're just going to try this bad boy on here and see what we do have. Now to me, if you come around here, it means a lot. It really does. Absolutely, I would say, perfect. It's pretty, pretty nice. And the reason being is we don't want anything past the door. Like we're really looking good there. Everything looks good down here, down the bottom. Everything looks good there. Absolutely awesome. This is what I'm concerned about. Where I have this part, fantastic, where we have this part wrapped around uh, the metal disc in, this part is the part we're worried about when we go to get that wood on. Is that wood going to go down over top of that and squish that and make that tight and right? Um, so, cream white, if you can picture it, cream white door skin, inside interior. We have the, the window, uh, the wood done here. If you go on the Bugatti interior, if you Google it, I think that Jolene's interior comes up first for the wood and the interior, stuff like that, which is very cool. So I'm just going to take, this is the one, I just got to think about it. This is the one. Alrighty. I'm going to take this one off first, I guess. What the hey? I have not taken this wood off yet. 
have not. Um, this is something that's been waiting in the sidelines. We've been getting quite a bit of stuff done waiting. I'm going to leave the one, nope, there's only two in this one here, so let's do that. Don't want to scratch anything, and it's going to take a little bit of time to just take it off and see if we can get Now, this has not been pulled off yet, so bear with us. Ugh. Is it stuck? <laughs> Broke free. Now, this is laminated mahogany. I'm not sure how many, <laughs> how many pieces there is laminated that, but that is laminated mahogany, and uh, it's quite something else. Actually, you can see the lamination and lamination in there. That is not one piece, that's laminated mahogany. So as we go in here, and then we gotta see where this fits. And does it fit? Okay, we're gonna go there, I think that one will fit. Just go there, go very careful. Um, so on this video, we're gonna put the wood around the window, show you what, to, or just see if it works. And we're gonna end up showing you the seat See if that works, and basically go from there. We have a couple holes here, so we're not quite sure what hole we want. But there's only, no, there's two holes down here. I'm just going to take my time. And I suggest everybody takes their time when you build something. That's precious. Yeah. got two holes. Which hole is it? I'm going to slide one in that hole. See what happens. See that wood stays on there. Seems up quite a ways, but we don't know yet. It's going to be half hard to put together. This is the very first time that we're trying this, so bear with me. in here. Now it's very hard to tell which hole it is. Venus Panton. It's hot here in Nova Scotia today. Whoa, it's hot. Now I think that might be the one. Let's do that one. I'm not so graceful doing this, I know. It is what it is. I think there's a, a certain distance that that was allowed for this, and it's allowed for the door all the way around. So I don't know if that made a difference up there. I don't want to tighten anything too tight. Not at all. Once I get that piece on there, maybe I'll know. I'm gonna take. Screw it. And this, you know, this sort of stuff that I'm doing right at the present moment, you would, you would want to do it before you paint it. And that way there, you know whether you have fitment or not. If you do not have fitment, well then you know 
screw missing. Okay, then you know that you have to do something to adjust it. I know that the wood has a little bit of movement there because that's that moved there. We've only got um, a couple holes here, three holes here, so we know that we're we're going to be good putting it on because we got we got. I should have put that one on first, and the reason being is uh, it's only got a couple holes that you can go by, and that way there I know. What do I know? Well, I just know that the hole goes in is the hole that's there. Ooh, look at that now, would you? Screw that in there. With having this piece on the other side, it just put on. I had a couple holes, and that really didn't. But it seems like that. If that screws in nice, we know we're in the right hole on that because it's fitting up nice. Now, can you see that painted with that wood on there? Jolene smiling. <laughs> smile, smile, smile. All right, that's the hole that we're in. We should be in there. We want to be very careful of Jay. I'm all over the place, that little screwdriver. I'm just I'm not sure whether to, I don't want to torque that in there. Not right, nope, not torquing it in there like that for now. Not doing it. That looks like a nice distance there. That's away from that. That looks like a nice distance. Now, when I come in here, we have a couple more holes. Got me guessing all the time. Got me guessing. All right, we should be good. We should be good. Take these out. This is the very first time that the, the wood has been tried on. Leave that there. <sighs> yeah. What the, what the? Okay. Now, this is what I'm going to do. Get that stuck in there. I'm going to take that out. I'm taking that piece off. Why am I taking that piece off? I'm not sure yet. What I'm thinking is where this one has a couple holes. The ones with one hole would be the ones to put on first. Now, just pull that over here. Stick that in there. That's nice. It looks like there's gonna be the right distance to put that in there, I'm hoping. Hoping and a praying. You can't see like here pretty well. I'm doing this blindly. One hole in the center. We'll put, we'll put the center one in. Get that one lined up. Get that rocking and rolling. And then I'll know for center or not. Just one hole in the center. It's not, not where it should be. And I'm hitting a bit a little bit above it. So 
So I'm gonna have to push down on that. There we go. I'm hoping. Nope, we're hitting just above it. Now, I guess this is like watching paint dry, I guess, but it is what it is. It has to be dealt with. Seems like we're hitting just above it. Come on. Why are you playing so difficult with me? Hey. First screw in. a little bit and we got this wood in here we are going to have to don't know if that pushed that down or not I guess that's the one I have not got this kind of giving me a, not a wrong read really and the reason being is is I haven't got that door skin connected on but I have got the screws in And I want to be very careful because I do not want to strip the screws that we have. Looks good there. Okay, I'm going to go with that for now. So that's going to work. That's going to work. We got to, we got to, that's going to work very It's quite, uh, quite something how, you know, everything was taken in for calculation that you know what I mean? Like, um, this is going to have to come out. And the reason being that it's coming out is because they're going to go in together. I'm thinking they are. Ugh. Ugh. Being very gentle with this stuff. Wow. There you go. I don't have to put the screws in it, but there you go. That's tight and right, right there. So that would be the, <laughs> that's nice, eh? Mm -hmm. Not sure what's going on there. I didn't do that, I don't think. Nope. But it has to be done to figure it out. A little, I'm not sure there's anything going on there. Nope, don't seem to be bad. Looks good. So what I'm thinking is, is, is the wood is going to fit with the door skin. That made me nervous. And the reason being is like, you know, you don't, you don't know until you try it. That's going on there. Don't know until you try it. Get another screw, a couple screws over here. See if we can get them bad boys in, see if they work. They're just going to have to be in order of operations when I put this together. That's with everything that you do, I guess, order of operations. in the wrong but anyways see what's going on there I'm thinking that we're fitting good that might want to be pushed down in a different hole
Yeah. Might be one. Did I lose a washer? It's one thing I don't. Got it over there. I'm not going to put that in for a second. Washer there. That's got to come up off a little bit. Just going to leave that for now, like that for now. That will be Jolene's interior door uh, with the wood on it. That's her, that's her door skin. Now we have, uh, she bought some belt buckles. Uh, basically going, it's close, but this is on the outside. This is on the inside, so I'm thinking that'll be fine. Uh, we're going to have to mount um, these bad boys here somewhere. We're going to hold the hood down with... Uh, these belt buckles that she bought and she got them really I think more reasonable and then than you could have I think you could pay up to four hundred dollars for these things mm -hmm. and uh, she did not pay that much money for them we kind of kept it at a at a price that she, you know was affordable and is reasonable so that um, putting that wood on with that door skin made me sweat anyways that's the door skin with the wood that's what it's going to look like. We have enough gap in there to, uh, to deal with that. And that's a great thing. We want to make sure that that lines up the best it can when we put it back together or get it, you know, put on together. But we had to have that distance in there um, to put that door skin on there. And we do have enough uh, by the looks of things. It's going to make it um, a little bit trying, but it is what it is. And that'll help hold the door skin on itself. Uh, da, da, da. We got a door latch going on there. We want to make sure everything matches up nicely. And uh, that we will. It fits in nice and tight and right. If you look at the originals, I think that Jeff said they're all, they're all made in three different pieces. That's what I'm thinking. So that's what uh, we did with, with this one. So that looks nice. Now let's get the seat. I'm going to bring the seat out and show you. We'll probably get, I got the dash in the car right now. So basically what I'm gonna do is we'll, I'll probably take the, the camera from Jolene and we'll get to see uh, what she fits like in the car with the seat. Um, we had a lot of controversy and a lot of, just a lot of everything. I can remember when, you know, somebody wanted Jaguar seats in it. You could not fit a Jaguar seat in, and sit in it. You could not fit in it. So we actually, we made the seats, we made the doors, we had the door skins made, the wood was made, the body was made, the dash was made, the seats were made. Um, on this car, there's only so much room in this car. When, if you have to realize, when you put the seat back, the less room you have. And the reason being is the roof goes down. Um, if I'm building that shape of car, I basically had to, I was building that shape of the car, that's what happens. So when your roof comes down the back, the less room you have. The most room you have is right here. That's the most room you have. In order for someone to sit right in there and be up close to that dash, have a big pedal, gas pedal, and all that sort of stuff, you have to be a small person. Jolene is that small person. She is so. I'll show you something here after. I'm going to take this over here for a minute. I'm going to put a little update on that too. All right, we're going to... This is the seat. So if you remember, if you go back to the videos, I'm going to let, let Fina out. I think Fina forgets it's hot out there. So, these are the seats. They look fantastic. Floyd did a beautiful job on them. All I did was make, all I did was make the seat. He covered it and did everything else. Uh, the seat, I wanted it like to be old fashioned sort of. I, I wanted this roll in it. This is all metal around here. He uh, basically uh, did what I asked and uh, put some foam on it put the ostrich skin to it. Uh, this piece up here was a foot rest on a bench that our friend Jack gave us. It fell off, but that's basically the seat. It's got a zipper in the back, nice and clean. It looks good. When, let's put this bad boy in. We even made a video of us putting this in. Um, there was no seat movement on this car. 
And the reason there's no seat movement is because you've got nowhere to go. There's only basically uh, one distance all the way back. And that's what we took. One all the we took all we could take to get what we needed. Now, let's see if we can get this bad boy in here. There you go, just like that, just like a glove. Just like a glove, baby. There's Jolene's seat. We have got mere, mere nothing in, in amongst here. Mere nothing here, I'm not sure. We're, we might be able to we put a piece of carpet in there, probably mere nothing to get that in there. The seat is all the way back. You wouldn't want your head back any further because you get less room. Um, you get to see the side, what the side looks like. This car is in the air quite heavy right now. So we're gonna, basically, I'm gonna take the camera from Jolene. And she, what's that? I got the stand. Okay, you take the stand. I'll take the fifth. Everybody else can. I'm gonna put them bolt nuts right there. So, yeah, it's 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 quite a daunting uh, car to uh, make someone fit in it. Um, this is not a car for someone that's six foot. It is not. It's probably a race car for a small person. Um, do you want any help? I just want to touch you. Ooh. All right. So she's got enough headroom. It's not. I'll tell you. Like you're not. You haven't got much. And I and I made that seat um, as low as I could to get as much as I could on the car. So Jolene is actually um, steering wheel there. She's got enough room. Can I take the camera for a minute? Yeah. Um, just enough room underneath the dash for her legs. Um, when you start pulling them legs up and hitting them brake pedals and, and gas pedals, you really want to have enough room for your shins. And I feel like you have enough room, do you not? Mm -hmm. Shifter's a good in place. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to the front of the car and um, just look out the window. When, when I ask her if you got good visual, yeah, I do. All the, all the lights are for just for lighting so you can see what's going on. She looks high in the car, but she's got an excellent, excellent visual for uh, running the car. Like it's really, she got a good visual uh, to see up front. You can even see the headlights. Can you see the headlights? Yeah. So it's nice that way. Mm -hmm. But you're, you are quite tall in the car. The seats feel okay? Yeah, they do. Man, I'm cooking with gas. But you can see by her, um, her left arm how close the seat is to the wheel well. It's very close, if you look right down there by your elbow, how close that is and get a, you know, get a piece of carbon on it, it's gonna be quite something else. So, there she is, she's in her car with her seat. Uh, the dash is working. She has a color of the dash that's going in it. That's the color that, that we have. That's, yeah, it's quite dark, you can't see that at all. Yeah, I guess you can see that. But that's, that's the dash color that we have that's going in it. We're not pulling that over right now. But um, there are the seats. And they're kind of a, an old school seat that I'm thinking. Like it looks like an old seat, just the shape of it um, sitting in the car. Um, that's what I wanted. Uh, Floyd wasn't real impressed with the material that, that we chose him, but that is what we that's what we chose, was the ostrich of that color. We should go nicely with the cream white. That is the, the dash color. It's outside. But uh, basically that's where it's at. So we got the wood on one window with one door skin, if you can picture it. This is all going to be white. This is gonna be paint up in here. Not sure yet what we're doing for headliner. We might just glue something up in there. Uh, it might be ostrich, it might be skunk. We're not sure yet. But um, it's got to be what it's got to be. Um, yeah, the wood went in tight and right. Uh, we have the belt buckles to put on, and you can basically see where we're going. There's a lot of stuff. I, I just noticed the dash. When, when I put the dash in, yeah, we, we even made the dash from that dash. And what I, do, what I notice is, is the center is hitting metal before the outside is. So I might have to do something there before we go get into paint. Uh, we got seam sealing to do. We've got some um, 
yeah, some painting to do on the inside of it. We've got some seam sealing to do underneath of it. We've got a lot of taping to do because we're painting the outside white. Um, the engine is rocking and rolling and, and looking real good. So we're getting really close. This is the other thing I was thinking about. We have, we have these rivets here. These are kind of a, a bigger headed rivet. The whole car was riveted at one time. And when I was sanding and doing the body work, it, it was terrible. Like this side here just ripped my hands all up and I cut my hands a couple times. I had to go in with an air gun and rip them all off, or not rip them all off, bang them all off with an air gun. So this is what I got going on. Just one second, Joey, I'll right back. Do, 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 do. I'll be right with you, sweetie pie. I'll be right with you. Oh, you're watching me, are you? Can't get away with nothing. Alrighty, this is what's going on. We have the rivets that are in that piece there that I showed you that have the rivets in it. Um, this car was a, a two-piece windshield, so what I've done is, is I made uh, I made a piece that goes up through the window, so it does make it a split window. Goes in something like that, makes it a split window, which is I think is pretty cool. Uh, you don't have to have a split window to make a split window, but if you take a look at these rivets here, a lot bigger, a lot bigger and a lot flatter. Uh, went to a store, uh, noticed that they had some different ones, and I grabbed them. And the reason being is, if I don't know, a couple cents a piece. So you, we can either keep the rivet that we have with the, with the smoother, bigger surface, or we can go with a smaller rivet with a more raised surface. So that's gonna be a decision that we're gonna to have to make um, when we start doing this. And uh, every one of these rivets will have to be cut off. And what I mean by cut off is that they're too long on this part and the shank part. So we're gonna have, she's gonna to have to make up her mind whether she wants oysters or if she wants Smarties. Basically, that one's kind of a rounder looking uh, pearl and that one's almost like a Smartie. So it's kind of uh, what's gonna happen. So basically what's gonna ha what is gonna happen, I plan on getting the car ready to paint. I do not want to sand rivets. It'll take the shape out of them. Uh, they're aluminum, all that sort of stuff. Get everything ready to paint. Then we're going to put the rivets in and hopefully we don't cause any damage. Then we're going to epoxy all the rivets and then we'll paint the car. That's what I'm hoping that's going to happen because I do not want to sand around the rivets. Cool. Alrighty. So that's where the update on the Bugatti is. Everything's going fantastic. Uh, there's more and more pieces coming in all the time. Excuse me. We have a bunch of cardboard pieces on the other side of I mean, on the other side of the seat and the passenger side. There's a bunch of more cardboard there, and all the cardboard pieces are pieces to fabricate and cover the interior, cover this piece here to cover the wheel wheel wells. And I'm thinking that what we would glue them all on. Uh, we would put a, I don't know what you, what you would call it in a uh, interior world, but you would sew an edge all the way around it and then we would glue that panel on. That's what I'm hoping that we can do and uh, we'll go from there. We still have to cover up the gas tank. Um, we, there's just so much to do, but we're going to be getting into it real quick. And uh, that's the update. I want to thank you very much for coming back. We appreciate it. We're just trying to fill you in where we're at with it. A lot of people, like, there's been questions asked. Like, give us an update on certain things, certain things. And this is the update that we're giving you. Uh, we're giving you what we have and what we know and all that sort of stuff. Uh, get You got to see if the wood's going to work or not. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the wood is going to work. I'm thinking this one has to go down a little bit. That was nerve wracking doing that. Um, this, is, this is all going to take time, especially when it comes time that it's painted. Uh, it's painted, it's going to have to go on and be laid down on something. This is going to have to be glued or tacked on somehow. Really going to have to take our time basically doing it all. 
Yes. But that's what it's about. And, and when it's done, um, I think it'll, it'll look fantastic. It'll, like, you know, it really will be some, a nice piece of work. We'll have the aluminum on the firewall. It just it will all come together. Everything that we've done will come together. Uh, so, as you see, like as every day that we put another piece on the hauler, basically the, my, my plan from, get, from day one, five years ago, six years ago, was to make this a hauler for that. And uh, it's kind of fun to have this and that in the same room at the same time going for it. All right, everybody, appreciate it. Thanks for coming back. You know, throw in a like, throw in a comment, throw in whatever you think. Um, get someone to subscribe, share. Which rivet would you use? Would you use the big rivet? Would you use the small rivet? Have a great day, everybody. We are.